We all have to keep trusting and believing that there is a light at the end of this very long tunnel. And tonight, Denmark may be starting to come out of the other side. Our James Longman is in Copenhagen with a special edition of Feel Good News. Hi guys, welcome to Good News. And what better place to be bringing it to you from than a country which is now coming out slowly of its lockdown. We're in Copenhagen, Denmark. It is a beautiful day. So many people are out enjoying it. A lot of businesses now have reopened, smaller shops, hairdressers, massage parlors, places where one or two people would go in rather than larger businesses. Crucially, also schools have reopened for those under 12. And we went today to meet some of the people going back to school, the kids, the teachers, to see them getting back to their normal lives. Does everyone like being back at school? Yes! Nice. We spoke to 11 year old Liv. You'll see she's a lovely, articulate young girl, and she spoke uh, really beautifully, I thought, about being reunited with her friends. It's, of course, nice to be at home, but it's nicer to be at school because of your friends. You, I probably think every child right now at home miss their friends. So yeah, it's very nice to be back. Is it hard to keep the rules of social distancing at school? Very much. I've missed my friend and it's hard not to hug my friends. Yeah, I've just missed my friends so much. So what's it been like reopening the school? There has been this sense of excitement because we're teachers. We want to be around students. So when the students first came back, it was so good to see their faces because they seemed to be really, really happy. And they seemed to have it already embedded in them that they needed to keep their distance, that they, they needed to wash their hands. We do it in such a way that yeah, we're constantly on duty, but we're constantly on duty with a smile to remind them that this is what we have to do in order to continue going back to school. But there are still pretty strict social distancing guidelines in place here in Denmark, and they're trying to observe them in the school. You've seen kids lining up to wash their hands, but they still have to stand a couple of metres apart. When break time is called, they're asked to kind of gather in groups of three and no more than that. And a lot of the lessons that these students and the teachers learned whilst they were in lockdown are being used. Now they're back to school. But Denmark, hopefully slowly now, can come back to normal. I should say it's only able to do this because they instituted their lockdown so early. There were only around 600 cases and one death. And that is why Denmark now slowly is coming out of a long period of lockdown. We also went into some other businesses to see how they're getting on, including a hairdresser. I was tempted to get a chop myself. So you're back open? Yes. How does it feel? Very good. It's been really boring at <laughs> home. <laughs> how long has it been since you've got your hair cut? Two months. Two months? Yeah. And how does it feel today? Good. <laughs> <laughs> you have to wear this. What other measures do you have to take when you do We're that? using all this uh, alcohol, to cleaning all the stuff, cleaning the seats and everything, and cleaning mm. around here, and towels, mm. throw them out, and this is only used once. So it's really lovely to see Denmark getting back to normal. Elsewhere, as ever on Good News, we're highlighting some of the people who've been fighting this virus and beating it. And check out this couple from Madison, Wisconsin, both hospitalized for the coronavirus and discharged together on the same day. We're just leaving you with our favorite moments for the last few days of people saluting our healthcare workers who are battling on the front lines every day. That's it from us in Denmark. A little glimpse maybe of what our own lives might look like in the coming weeks and months. But for now, stay safe and be good to each other. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.